Welcome to 30 Days of Excellence in Conversation with Juliet Ehimuan. And also, enjoy insightful conversation that will set you on your own transformational journey. Hi, I'm the Catalyst, and my name is Larry Olusola. And as we all know, 2020 has been an incredibly challenging, provocative, uncertain year. And that's why 30 Days of Excellence, uh, written by my very good friend Juliet, is so, so important. And that's why we're having this conversation. So, Juliet... Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Larry. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. And I really, really want to do say thank you to you for, you know, creating this phenomenal body of knowledge. So talking about 30 Days of Excellence, why, why did you decide to write this book? Thank you very much, Larry. So I feel that everyone has immense potential hmm. and we all deserve a chance at realizing that full potential. From as far back as I can remember, I've always been drawn to wanting to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, in growing up, I, I consumed a lot of material, just things that could help me learn and uh, understand myself better, how to function in the world better, how mm -hmm. to be more effective and so on. And I've also been inspired to share that with others at every opportunity. In the last few years, I've, um, through the Beyond Limits initiative, I have run a number of uh, masterclasses and uh, coaching programs to just share uh, mm. some of the principles and concepts that I've known to be effective with others. Now, when people get this, how do they use it effectively? This is a companion set because it, it complements uh, a lot of uh, the ad additional body of work that is uh, going on around, um, you know, self-leadership, transformation, and so on. The companion set comprises two mm. materials. There's the tabletop flip book, which is what I'm holding right now. Now, this That's is designed good. to sit very comfortably on your desktop, on mm. your anywhere that is visible to you, so that it is very top of mind and you can presence it and refer back to mm. it on a regular basis. So it's a spiral bound flip book and then there's also the workbook which is the one you're holding yeah. there's a call to action and also spaces for people to reflect and write their thoughts and their plans and um, their learnings and so the whole idea is for the entire set to be a companion on your journey towards self-leadership towards achieving your goals towards transformation you know there's 30 days of you know incredible nuggets secrets principles concepts which are your top five? Now, in terms of my favorite, it's it's pretty hard to choose because they're all so related. Uh, but I think I would start with day four, hmm. which okay. is uh, to live the life you want. You need to define it. Only then can you create it the way you want. I think this is paramount for every human being because life is not a series of random events. Life doesn't happen by accident. If we see people who accomplish great things, quite often there is a very clear vision. Mm. They have a direction they're going towards and then there's a plan to achieve it. So my invitation through this is for everyone to decide very deliberately, what do I want to achieve in different areas of my life? Maybe it's in my career, maybe it's in my um, emotional life, my family life and so on. Life exists in different domains. Be very clear about where you want to go because that also gives you direction and that sets the tone and also shows you where to spend your time, how to mobilize your resources. And you'll find out that um, being deliberate and having that clear vision uh, makes it easier and more likely that you will achieve it. Hmm. Because whether we know it or not, we are creating our realities. So let's go into personal brand, personal brand. Yes. <laughs> Why is that so important? So I think uh, I see personal brand, your personal brand as the intersection between perception and reality. Hmm. I would always um, uh, you know, caution people though about just going for, oh, I want to create a personal brand. I want to create a personal brand. Uh, because quite often what happens then is that there's a lot of focus on the perception. But it needs to be grounded in reality. You start from the reality. If you want to be known as someone who gets the job done, then make sure you're, you're reliable. Hmm. Each time you're giving something to do, you actually get it done and you're accountable. Those types of things. So once you, when you get that reality right, 
that would be the image of you that exists out there in the world. Um, I also like that the the principle on attitude. Mm. Let's say that attitude determines your altitude. altitude. Do right. you want to talk to us about that? Absolutely. Well? So um, attitude is very important. That sometimes it can be the difference between failure or not, success mm. or not, or having something because you can have something good in your hand. But if you don't, but with the wrong attitude, you lose it. I always say that if I was interviewing for a job and I had two candidates, one very competent, et cetera, but just completely difficult to work with. And another person, the right attitude, great, maybe not as technically competent as the first person. If I had to absolutely make a decision on the sport, I'll go for the second person. Mm. Because there's no point for you being a, 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 a you know a, a technocrat that no one can work with. So I'm going to share day 19, I believe it is, which is about, yes, living in the now. Oh. Hmm. Human beings, one thing that is unique about human beings is that we have these faculties. We have memory, which is really about the past, and we have imagination, which is about the future. The unfortunate thing, though, is that sometimes we use those incredible tools to deprive, to take away from the present. Sometimes we're, we're, we're living completely in the past and we're bringing that into the present and projecting that into the future. Or oh, we're living in the future, we're not even present to today. The reality is the only time life is lived is now. Your life right now is as powerful as it is. This is it. Even that future you're aspiring to, when you get there, you'll be living it in a now moment. So if you want your life to be powerful, well, experience that power right now. Start, make sure that you're bringing that into your experience right now. What I hear in effect is that, you know, yesterday is gone. Yes. And, you know, there's nothing I can do about what I didn't do. Exactly. Or what I did yesterday. Exactly. It's gone. Yes. Right. And all that I should do with that is to learn from it. Yes. And, 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 and release myself from, from exactly. that. Exactly. Yes. And tomorrow is a function of what I do now. Exactly. And, and, and the only time that I, that I can change anything. Exactly. Is in the moment. Exactly. Wow. Well, exactly. But a lot of people cheat themselves by, by, you know, getting distracted from what they have the power to do now by focusing on yesterday and being distracted about Exactly. Tomorrow. Rather than using them as tools. Mm. It's okay. We have memory for a reason. It's there to make sure that we remember what we've learned. We're acquiring knowledge as we go on. It's a, it's a powerful tool. And yes, it's it's quite natural for us to sometimes just stay in that space in memory or, or, or imagination. But none of the reality is none of that is real. Mm. Right? It's gone. What mm. we have, the reality, if you want tomorrow to be fantastic, start creating it now. 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 It's the now, the next now, the next now, moment by moment. That's how we create our reality. Wow. So and you... so that's why it's important that we continue to choose. And that's why it's important not to live life in autopilot, autopilot. <laughs> yeah. that we don't live life in autopilot they were very conscious about deciding and creating the life that we want so 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 juliet there's the entrepreneur out there um that person that's just started his business you know um has run his business for a few years and wants to take it to the next level what are you going to say to them so entrepreneurship is uh is, is a great uh, vocation <laughs> i'll mm. call it and it's one that is, um, you know, very much needed in any, in any, any country. I would say that um, it's important that you um, reach out and be part of collaborative networks, mm -hmm. like-minded people. That's where tech hubs really, uh, depending on your, your type of business. But if, for example, uh, you're in the tech community, that's where tech hubs are useful where you get like-minded people but even going online there's a lot of there are forums you can be part of etc now be very clear about just the basics uh you know what the business is about your business plan um what you need to do to ensure that your you, you get your product out there your customers are happy ensure that you have a constant feedback loop where you're getting feedback from customers because some of the greatest inventions we have today um, I treated based on customer feedback. So it's important that you build a feedback mechanism as a core part of what you do. It's important to build a strong team mm. that complements you, right? Um, and makes for whatever gaps you may have or your blind spots, 
right? And and work very closely with that team and create a culture that supports innovation, that supports um, you know out of the box thinking, uh, excellence. So so Juliet, um, what are you going to say to you know anyone out there that is about to give up? Three principles that will bring them out of that mindset from that you know um, place that they're at. They're about to give up. What would you say to them? I would say that you're, you've come this far for a reason. And you've demonstrated capacity, capability in many ways to have gotten you this far. Your dreams are valid. You deserve a shot at making them happy, uh, happen. You deserve a shot at happiness. You deserve to be here. You're not an accident. You are here for a reason because you're special and you have something to contribute to the world. So I would invite you to take uh, ownership of that and re, you know, just recalibrate in terms of uh, making a decision about how you want your life to go. Uh, understand that you can be your best champion. You need to be the captain of your life. Help is available. Make that decision and then just look around you for, for the help that is available. Don't give up because you owe it to yourself to be as joyful, as fulfilled, and as realized as you can be. Welcome back. And now it's time to unveil this incredible and phenomenal body of knowledge. The workbook and the tabletop flip book. Make sure that you get both of them together because they work together. Congratulations, Juliet. Thank you so much, Lanry. Really wow. appreciate it. Wow. And it's available on Amazon and every bookstore across Nigeria. Go get yours right now. Remember, the power of now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Thank here's you. to a great rounding up of 2020 yes, and so. a fantastic 2021 uh, and beyond for yes, everyone. I can't wait. Hi, my name is Falake Oguduni, co-founder and CEO of Emergency Response Africa and participant in the Beyond Limits Think Tank program. We really, really appreciated the opportunity to participate and especially to be face-to-face -face with so many industry heavyweights. I would like to commend the Beyond Limits Africa team for the last mentorship session. Based on the feedback from the session, we've also been able to develop a product called Brands Connect to connect brands with users through gaming where brands can give out their products and users can also connect with the brands. The Beyond Limit Transformational Series was truly amazing for me. Um, learning how to get a clearer picture about one's vision, um, personal effectiveness and more importantly improving one's leadership skills. As Juliet once said in a video, every individual is expected to be deliberate about what he or she wants, either as an entrepreneur or climbing the corporate ladder. Um, it was great to learn from their experience, um, hear about uh, what others are doing in the space and share about our business and what we're looking to do in healthcare across Africa. The transformational series and think tank where transformational, as the name implies, I learned a lot about myself, about personal leadership, decision making, making discipline and framing my world to see possibilities even when there is impossibility. Hi, I'm delighted to present the 30 Days of Excellence companion set. There's the tabletop flip book that you can put on your desk or anywhere that is visible so that you can see it on a regular basis and make sure that those principles are top of mind. And also a workbook that has additional uh, spaces where you can 